guys. Here I am at Coulter Bay Campground, Grand Tetons. It's uh, early morning. Extremely beautiful out. Super quiet. Anyways, this is my site here. Uh, I'm on the M Loop. M276. Uh, very nice site. Highly recommend this site, and I'll tell you why. Uh, if you look to the right, there's absolutely nobody behind me. Uh, there's a trail that leads to the lake, uh, probably another 200 feet down, so they couldn't put a site here next to it. But look at that site, just gorgeous. And it's about a five minute walk to the uh, extremely beautiful beach with the mountains, Grand Tetons. Here's the bear box, super big, super nice. So let me go out to the road, and just kind of show you what most of the sites look like real quick. Again, this is the M loop, but most of the loops are the same. There's a few uh, tent only sites. And uh, here's something to really keep in mind. See these guys' generators? All these campers have generators here. If you go to um, the first four loops, no generators are allowed, yet you can still have a uh, camper, a travel trailer. So keep that in mind if, uh, if generators bug you a lot. They certainly bug me and I didn't know that and I didn't see anything on their website about it but um, keep that in mind. You can really save yourself the, uh, the torture of dealing with that. Anyways the other thing I wanted to show you is the, uh, the bathrooms I guess you can call it. They're extremely rustic. They're actually in need of some major updating but this is the, uh, the they call it the camper service sink. It's where you put your sink water looks kind of disgusting actually and then the bathrooms are probably even worse make sure no one's in here you can see there's water or actually there's water mostly dry up but there's water bubbling up from underneath the floor toilets are dirty there's actually soap and paper towel which is pretty cool but uh, I don't want to get into this too much but the bathrooms are pretty, pretty spartan. Wouldn't really uh, recommend using them if you, if you didn't have to. But um, yeah, that's most of the campground. Most of the loops are the same. Also in the Elm Loop, they have a section shut down uh, for rehabilitation of habitat. And then they also um, have a section way back through the woods where there's actually some type of wildlife that came through that they had to shut it off. And I know a week ago, uh, a bear came through here, so that could have been Stay fun. here for uh, four nights. We loved it. Uh, most of the time it was really quiet. Uh, a few times you got some noisy neighbors and stuff, but that's understandable. And uh, usually by 10 o'clock p.m., everyone kind of shut down. And most people are early risers. Um, people got up really early uh, to get to the sites. So. You can watch another one of my videos for the attractions at Grand Tetons. And uh, let me tell you, um, if you watch it, you're going to learn a lot about what to do and what not to do. If you get up too late and try to go to Jenny Lake, you're going to really regret it. And if you get up too early and go to Jenny Lake, you might regret it too, because there's a sweet spot where the line for the boat is uh, too long. Or if you get there too late, there's no parking. So I'm going to go through that in one of my other videos. But hopefully uh, you enjoyed this Coulter Bay campground video. Um, there's also a huge campus at the front with a really nice restaurant. And um, there's also a, a gift shop and uh, your standard uh, a grocery store with quite a bit of amenities in there. So um, that's really nice too.